Prime Minister Kristersson, kjære Ulf, velkommen til NATO. Congratulations on your election and welcome to the NATO headquarters. I really appreciate that you are here just three days after taking office. This shows your long-standing uh, commitment and support for Sweden's uh, membership in NATO. As a close uh, NATO partner, Sweden has made valuable contributions to the alliance for many years. You have well-trained and professional armed forces, high-end military capabilities, and you already operate to NATO standards. At our NATO summit in Madrid, all allies made the historic decision to invite Sweden and Finland to become uh, members of NATO. Joining the alliance will make you safer, NATO stronger, and the Euro-Atlantic area more secure. Your membership will strengthen the alliance presence in the high north and deepen uh, Nordic and Baltic defense cooperation. As invitees, you are now integrating into NATO's political and military structures. And it is inconceivable that allies would not act should Sweden and Finland come under any form of pressure. Many allies have given security assurances to both countries. NATO has increased uh, its presence in the Baltic Sea region, and we have been exercising and working together more than ever before. The accession process for Sweden and Finland has been the fastest in NATO's modern history. Nearly all allies have completed their national procedures. So, Prime Minister, I welcome your commitment to the trilateral memorandum signed by Turkey, Sweden and Finland to strengthen cooperation in the fight against terrorism. We all agree uh, on the importance of the memorandum and the need to address Turkey's legitimate security concerns. I welcome the major concrete steps Sweden is taking to implement the trilateral memorandum, ending any restrictions on arms sales to Turkey, significantly enhancing cooperation on counterterrorism, prohibiting participation in terrorist organizations, including the PKK and working through the joint implementation mechanism on issues such as extradition and terrorist financing. We also agree that we must stand together as we face the greatest security crisis in a generation. President Putin is failing in Ukraine, but he has not given up on his brutal war of aggression. So I welcome Sweden's strong support for Ukraine with arms and ammunition as well as humanitarian assistance. NATO and allies will continue to support Ukraine's right to self-defense for us as long as it takes. So, Prime Minister, thank you again for being here today and for your strong commitment to NATO. I look forward to working with you and to welcoming Sweden and Finland as NATO members. So, please, you have the floor. Thank you, Secretary General, dear Jens. Thank you so much for... for hosting me here today. This is obviously not my first trip to NATO, but this is my very first trip inside the NATO headquarters. And I, I really hope to be able to be here much more in the future. Uh, me and the Secretary General have had an excellent exchange on Sweden's application to join NATO and on the difficult security situation in our neighborhood, obviously. I would like to personally thank the Secretary General for his leadership and strong support for Sweden and Finland's applications. That means a lot to Swedes and to Finns. The support from allies has been overwhelmingly strong, indicated by the swift ratification among 28 allies of Sweden and Finland's accession protocol and security assurances from several countries. That also means a lot to us. I told the Secretary General that my government attaches the highest priority to Sweden's NATO uh, accession. The national process to prepare for Sweden's membership is not affected by the change of government uh, as there is broad and strong parliamentary support for Sweden joining NATO. For Sweden joining NATO. I also told the Secretary General that my government will redouble efforts to implement the trilateral memorandum with Finland and Turkey. Uh, Turkey. Uh, this is true before Sweden's uh, NATO accession as well as after. 
the trilateral memorandum has established new platforms for cooperation in the fight against terrorism between Sweden and Turkey. Uh, Counterterrorism is a priority for Sweden ahead of and after our accession to NATO. We take our commitments very seriously. As a NATO ally, Sweden will be fully committed to contributing to the security of the alliance with a 360-degree approach. We will act in accordance with the obligations that follow from our membership, including NATO's nuclear doctrine. We will always act in support of upholding the European security order. Membership of NATO will become a central part of Sweden's foreign security and defence policy. I have also informed the Secretary-General of our efforts to strengthen our military defence. We are committed to reach NATO's goal of national defence spending in relation to GDP as soon as possible. We have a unique set of capabilities that will contribute to NATO's collective security. Our defence industry has for long been an asset for ourselves in Sweden through our membership in NATO, more will benefit from it. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks.